We're slap bang in the height of bass fishing season, so here's a bass pattern for you, the good old fashioned clouser. One of the most effective flies that we've got that we can use in the UK off the coast. Perfect for all sizes of bass from small scalding fish through to big old lunkers. Fished either on a floating line or using one of the Rio's Aqualux um, striped bass intermediate lines. This fly kills bass left, right and centre. Really easy pattern to tie, only going to need a couple of materials, some white bucktails, some chartreuse bucktail, some dumbbells, a little bit of the UTC Mirage again and uh, the good old fashioned bug bond we've used before. So just to get started, I've popped into the vise already, a size 4 Gemco 811 hook, on with some white thread, just lay a little bit of a base down, trim off the excess, get that out of the way, grab a set of uh, lead dumbbell eyes, I'm going to pop those just a little bit back from the eye, I don't want them right up against the eye, I need some space to tie in the bucktail later, and just with a figure of 8, we're just going to secure those in, nice and firm there and then work our way down with the thread towards the end of the hook grab a piece of wide UTC Mirage offer that up and just tie that in towards the end of the shank of the hook and take your thread back up to the eye and in the same direction as your thread wraps we're just going to take that and touch in turns with the UTC Mirage down towards the dumbbells, this is going to form our body just past that. Secure off with a couple of turns and then trim off any excess we've got. Get rid of that. Here comes a little bit of a fiddly part. To make this a bit more durable, because bass do have a habit of absolutely smashing your flies, we're just going to cover the whole body in bug bond. Quick hit with a torch and just turn it round again. Not only will this make your fly far more durable, but it also makes this UTC Mirage absolutely come to life. Really gives it that sort of bait fish effect. And then just round to the other side, making sure we've covered it all. Don't want to miss any bits. One last hit with a torch. Only a matter of a few seconds and it's gone. And what I'm going to do now is just take the hook out of the vise and just turn it upside down because I'm going to tie my bits of bucktail in. From here going backwards on the underside. Because the lead eyes are on the top side of the shank, well, this is actually going to fish upside down. So it'll fish in that plane. So, just grab a clump of white bucktail we've already put together, just offer that up, and just pinch and loop, tie that in, trim off our excess, and just to tie those butts down a little bit more. It's the first layer in, on with a chartreuse. And this gives us a nice contrasting colours between the white and this bright greeny chartreuse colour. Again, trimming off the excess, get that out of the way. Just tie it down and build up a little bit of a head. soft wraps at the back just to make sure that bucktail sits down nicely. Whip finish. Pop that off. Trim off the thread. And then just to make sure it's not going to fall apart on us. A little bit of bug bond. Give it a quick hit with a torch. And there we have it. Bass candy. There's our clouser.